What is going on guys? It's your boy Big Dolan and welcome back to another Destiny 2 weapon review. <laughs> and today we're going to be taking a look at the Charles auto rifle called the Prosecutor. This is actually, from what I've heard, pretty goddamn decent, especially in the Crucible. So getting into the weapon perks, we have Precision Frame. This weapon's recoil pattern is more predictably vertical. We have Chambered Compensator. Increases stability. Moderately controls recoil, slightly decreases handling speed. We have caught screw rifling, slightly increases range and stability, slightly increases handling speed. Then we have polygon rifling, increases stability. For me, um, I will try this one. We will, then we have slideways, sliding partially reloads this weapon's magazine and temporarily boosts handling and stability. This perk is across all of the Trials of the Nine weapons. Personally, I do not like it. It adds five rounds into the magazine. Totally not worth on it as well because it has a cooldown. So for me, I will not be testing that perk out. If you want to see it in action, go look back at the pulse rifle one um, I did a couple of videos ago. Next up, we have tap the trigger. Grants a short period of initial, or sorry, increased stability and accuracy on initial. There we go, trigger pull. Then we have hip fire grip, ergonomic grip that increases accuracy and stability when firing from the hip. Kind of a meh perk, especially on an assault rifle, kind of a little bit of a weird one. But anyway, let's get down to the European dead zone and test this bad boy out. So again, we are now in the European dead zone. As always, this is not going to be a PvP review. If you're looking for some PvP gameplay, you may want to go check out some other content creators. But as always, let's get to testing this bad boy out. First things we're going to take a look at is the weapon pullout speed, the ADS speed, and then the recoil pattern. So, just getting into it here, we are going to have a look at the weapon pullout speed. Um, about average, um, I'd say it's a, uh, about, about the same as my scout rifle actually, um, which is quite surprising. ADS speed about average as well, let's compare it to the Scout. Um, I'd say about the same as the Scout as well. And recoil pattern, we're going to stand at this tree line here and then we're going to just pin the trigger. I'm not going to try and control the recoil, we're just going to see where it goes. Ooh, that is actually pretty nice. I was expecting it to be like way up here somewhere, but that is pretty damn good. Um, yeah, I actually like this already. That's pretty cool. That was me trying to actually control the recall this time, which is... That, that's pretty surprising, actually. Um, I actually really do like that. So, obviously, you got the tap the trigger perk as well, so you get the initial burst of accuracy when you like, tap on the first couple of bullets, which is um, pretty decent if you're shooting at range, but again, if you're using an assault rifle like across the map, then you are probably using it wrong, that's all I will say. But, I actually, this thing's actually really good. I wasn't expecting this. It's actually really, really good. Um, now, it, I don't know, because I don't have the Aerial's Gift anymore, um, so I can't compare it to like the rate of fire, like the rounds per minute and the impact and everything, so... I'm not too sure how it would compare to that, but if it's of the similar archetype, I could see this weapon being really popular. Um, but I'm actually really genuinely surprised, and I'm actually really being serious. It's actually shocked me quite a bit. It's actually really good. Um, I'm not too much of a assault rifle person either. I'm more of like a scout or a pulse rifle kind of guy. But this might convert me, actually. This is actually really good. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for the video. Um, so all in all, I'd say definitely worth getting. Again, if you can get this weapon from if you're in a clan or if you're going flawless in trials and you get your hands on this bad boy, then definitely I'd recommend using it. It's actually really good. And uh, yeah, guys, hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.